Hello America, this is Keith, your friendly neighborhood technician. Today we're coming at you with, you bought a new LG front load washer and all of a sudden it doesn't want to drain no more. We're going to show you how you can actually get the water out of the unit without doing an old-fashioned vacuum. These are actually real nice because they're actually specifically made so you can drain them and not have to worry about water going somewhere else. So, as you can see, we've got water in our drain. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to assume I've already tried to drain it. It doesn't want to work, it doesn't go. So, LG has a nice little thing down here. It is your it's a little thing. You've seen these. Okay, this right here. You want to pop it open, and this is a drain. Okay, now there's two ways of doing it. You could use the little hose, or you can use this. Okay, this is a very controlled how much water you lose. If I pull that out, water is going to gush out. Okay, this hose is the very lowest point of the whole unit. So when I pull this out, okay, it will start. It will start draining the draining the thing. Okay, this is a little slower, but it will drain the whole unit. Okay, now fortunately, see here we have a floor drain, so I'm not really worried about where it's going. If you're doing this at home. You may want to get a little shop vac and a little, you know, baking pan and have the water go to the baking pan and then you can actually vacuum it out of the baking pan before it goes all over the floor. Okay. So as you can see, it's, you know, it's slow. It's supposed to be slow. It's not meant to overwhelm you to anything. Now what happens is if you don't use this one, you can use this one. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this and eventually you're going to see water is going to start coming out it is a much faster much more go everywhere pace okay you can do it this way now this was a whole lot harder because you can't determine where the water is going to come out it goes in it goes around it goes all over the way i would still highly recommend you use this okay and it will okay see it does pretty good so you got to find the right key i'm going to close that off real quick so you stop the water now if i pull it tight I've actually made a kink in the hose, which you can't see, but I know is in there. So you back it up a little bit. See, now you get a really good amount of water coming out. And you can actually watch it slowly. See, it's slowly, slowly draining. Okay. It will drain the unit completely empty. Okay. Now, like I said, when you use the bigger one, it has very little control over how much water comes out. It basically just floods it all out. You will flood your floor if you use that one. You always want to make sure you use this one and let it drain till this thing stops. Pretty much all of your front load LGs, this is the design. A top load LG, no, they do not have this. So now, if we want to do this, like I said, we can loosen this and you can see water's still gonna come out. Now I'm gonna, and the more I loosen it, the more water's gonna to wanna to come out. See what I mean? It will flood quickly if I take it all the way out. Okay, so you don't wanna do that. You wanna make sure that you get it all out through here, okay? That's what it's designed for. It's to help you out in case you have a problem. See, now we're almost all done, okay? So now we can take this out. That's your coin trap, dirt trap, grease trap, whatever you wanna call it. If you have dogs or animals, this is gonna fill up with dog hair, or cat hair, whatever. And it will slow down how well your thing drinks. I would say every three to five months, the key is when you put it back in, you have to make sure it goes in all the way in. If it's not all the way tight, you're going to leak, then you're going to have problems. Okay, slides in, you just turn it, it will automatically seed. If you can't use your fingers to tighten it, you're not in right. If you force it, you're going to strip it. If you strip it, it's going to leak. You have ruined your drain pump because that got stripped. Like I said, it is finger finger tight okay because you see there's a rubber seal here this rubber seal right there is what's actually going to seal the water from coming out if it's not tight enough it won't hold if it's if these get stripped you can't get tight enough you get cross threaded the whole nine yards it doesn't matter where you put it in this as long as you're going in it should be fingers okay if you can't get at least two to three full rounds you're not in right and then basically till it's tight okay and next thing don't forget to put this back in. 
You need to go all the way in there like this. And then you shove it back in. Okay. And then pop it in there. Close it and you're done. And now your washer's empty. So don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Come back for some more wonderful information. And have a wonderful day.